Hey, hey, everybody. In this video, I'm going to talk about Ohm's Law. First of all, what is it? And second of all, how do we use Ohm's Law to practically find out the voltage in a circuit, the current in a circuit, and the resistance in a circuit? But before we do that, let's uh, take a little revisit and explore again what exactly voltage, current, and resistance actually is. So right over here is one of my favorite cartoons and it uh, helps me understand uh, what exactly these units are actually measuring. So uh, let's start uh, on the bottom left corner over here. Uh, one of the things that we can measure is voltage or electromotive force, as some people say. And so like this little cartoon guy is uh, showing in this cartoon, think of voltage as the pressure or the pushing force of electricity. And the unit of measurement that we use to measure voltage is volts. And sometimes it's V for short. Now, if we uh, take a look to the right, the poor guy that's being squeezed through the funnel, that's uh, current. And so current is the amount of electrons that are flowing through a circuit. And it's essentially about how much or how little electrons are flowing through a point at a given time. And current is measured in amps, AMPS. And up on the top is the third unit, and that is resistance. And resistance is measured in ohms, H-O-M. And so think of resistance as what is blocking or restricting the flow of electrons. And the cool thing is these three units actually have a cool relationship with each other, and they play off of each other. And the first person to kind of uh, discover this was this guy. And his name was Georg Ohms, and uh, that's why uh, we have Ohm's Law named after him. And so this uh, German physicist and mathematician, and he figured out that current, voltage, and resistance actually had an interesting relationship. And he described the relationship as this. Current passing through a conductor is proportional to voltage over the resistance. Now, if you're like me, that's a lot of words that are being thrown at you, and uh, it can be a little bit confusing. Uh, but don't panic, because he simplified that even further with a mathematical formula, and that's what we're going to be looking at. So he summarized all this into a neat little formula, which is V equals I times R. So voltage equals I, which stands for current, times R, and R stands for resistance. Now I'd like to pause for a little moment and uh, explain for a second. Um, current is uh, spelt with a C, not an I, but the reason why I stands for current is because Georg Ohms was German, and when he was publishing his papers, he described current as intensity, so I for intensity. And the cool thing about the Ohm's Law formula is that uh, if we know two of these three things, so for example, if we know voltage and we know resistance, but we don't know current, then what we can do is we can plug those numbers in and use algebra to solve the problem. Now, if you're hearing the word algebra and you're running for the door, don't panic because in this video, I'm gonna show you how we can use this colorful Ohm's Law pyramid to help us practically find out the voltage, practically find out current, and practically find out resistance. So let's go and do that. All right, so let's apply Ohm's Law to solve a practical problem over here. So right now, we've got our circuit, and we know that there's a light bulb that produces 10 ohms of resistance, and we also know that there is two amps of current flowing through the circuit, but what we don't know is the voltage that's being supplied by this current battery over here. So what we're going to do is we're going to use Ohm's law to answer the question, what is the voltage of this battery over here? So to do this, we're going to use our pyramid and we're going to cover up voltage because that's what we're trying to solve for. And by doing so, we can see the formula right in front of us. I times R. So I'm gonna go ahead and write that. Voltage, it is 
current times resistance. So our next step is we're going to plug in the numbers that we know. So I, we know what I is, it's two amps. So I'm gonna go ahead and write two over here. I'm gonna multiply that by our resistance and we know that our resistance is 10 ohms. So I'm gonna go ahead and put 10 over here. And then I'm just gonna multiply these numbers. So two times 10 is 20. And that's our voltage. So what we've done is we've used Ohm's law to figure out this problem. We now know that the voltage of this battery is 20 volts. At this point, I've kept the same circuit, but I've changed some of the values. This time, we know that we have a battery, and this battery is supplying 12 volts of electrical pressure through the circuit. We also know that within the circuit, there is 3 amps of current flowing through it. But what we don't know is the resistance that this light bulb offers. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to solve for R. To do that, we're going to go back to our Ohm's Law Pyramid. And since I'm solving for resistance, I'm going to go ahead and cover up that part of the triangle. And that's going to reveal, and that's going to, reveal to me the formula, which is voltage divided by current. So I'm going to start by writing down the formula. So resistance equals voltage divided by I for current. The next step, I'm going to go ahead and plug in those values. So we know that the voltage is 12 volts. So I'm going to go ahead and put 12 on the top divided by current. And we know current is 3 amps. So I'm going to add 3 on the bottom. 12 divided by 3 is 4, so that's 4 ohms. So through Ohm's Law, we were able to figure out that if there's 12 volts of pressure and there's 3 amps in the circuit, the resistance of the light bulb must be 4 ohms. Now I'm going to show you how to solve for I or current. So just to keep things fresh, I've changed the values. I've also gotten rid of the picture and replaced it with schematic symbols. But don't be scared, the logic is still the same. So over here in our diagram, we've got a battery and that battery is prov providing 16 volts of electrical pressure. And that is flowing through a speaker which offers eight ohms of resistance. And what we're trying to figure out is what's the current that's going through the circuit. So let's solve for it. Once again, I'm going back to my pyramid. Since I'm solving for current, I'm gonna cover up the I, and that's going to reveal to me the formula. This time, it's voltage divided by resistance. So I'm gonna go ahead and write that down. To solve for current, or I, it is the voltage, in this case of the battery, divided by the resistance, in this case offered by the speaker. And now I'm going to go ahead and plug in my numbers. So I know that the voltage is 16 volts, so I'm going to put 16 on the top. And that's divided by 8 ohms. If I divide 16 by 8, that produces 2. So our answer, don't forget the units, is 2 amps. So we know in this circuit a battery of 16 volts with a circuit of 8 ohms of resistance will produce 2 amps of current.